So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rechecking all of the enclosures to make sure there are no new existing nests or any babies left behind. Now I also got a glove on here because we're actually going to be digging in the dirt and soft areas. Oh, guys, do you see that? Oh my gosh, no way this is happening right now. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, you of course know it's summertime and with summertime comes baby season for all sorts of animals. Now since it's baby season, what we are gonna be doing is we are gonna be heading down to my brother's house because he has been digging up tortoise eggs left and right. Now if you are new to the channel and you didn't know this, my brother literally has a million and one tortoises. Now with so many tortoises, it's very difficult to keep track of all of the nests that are laid and if you left any babies behind. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be rechecking all of the enclosures to make sure there are no new existing nests or any babies left behind. But before we do that, here's a word from today's sponsor. Now guys, before we hop into today's video, I just wanna give a huge thank you for Electric E-Bikes for sponsoring today's video. So we just received the Electric XP Lite and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go on ahead and open the package up. So now that we have unpacked and put the electric e-bike together, the great thing about this bike is it comes pre-charged, so you don't have to wait and ride it. And another amazing feature that this bike has is all you have to do is snap it into place right here and here, slide the handlebars in, and guys, you're ready to ride. Now this bike not only comes in Arctic white, but it also comes in electric blue, midnight black, and sandstorm. Now this bike can actually reach up to 20 miles per hour. Now all you have to do to turn it on is you insert the key right here, you turn it counterclockwise, you come over here, you hold the power button on, and your screen will turn on. Now on the screen right here, it displays the energy bar, the speed, the PAS, and the ODO. Now the energy bar tells you how much power you have left in your bike. The speed, of course, tells you how many miles per hour you're going. The ODO is the odometer, which tells you how far you have traveled, and the PAS is pedal assist system. So how to use a pedal assist is you come over here, you click the plus or the minus button. Now if you click the plus button, it goes all the way up to five, which is the fastest speed while pedaling. But if you don't want to use the pedal assist, all you have to do is come over here, hold the throttle back, and your bike will start. So we brought the electric e-bike outside. Now I'm gonna share with you some amazing benefits that this bike has. Not only can you use it for everyday fun activities, but you can go greener by using the electric e-bike. Now you must know that gas prices are through the roof, so you can take the electric e-bike to your local grocery store or any close places, and by using the electric e-bike, you can not only save gas, but you're going greener by using the electric e-bike. So another reason why I love using electric e-bikes is because it's great enrichment for little Theo, taking him on casual bike rides around the neighborhoods. Now guys, if you wanna check out their website and maybe get your own electric e-bike, well, it's gonna be linked in the description down below. But I just wanna give a huge thank you again to Electric e-bikes for sponsoring today's video. And guys, it's time for our bike ride. So guys, we have made it to my brother's house and the tortoise enclosures that we are gonna be looking in first are right in front of me right here. So right here, we have two Katinga groups right here. So we have one giant enclosure right here and one smaller enclosure right here. And you can see that we had a bunch of vegetation just a couple weeks ago, but with this crazy blazing hot sun here in South Florida, all of the vegetation and the bushes and any weeds that were growing are just completely dead as for this one as well, because it is just burning hot right now guys so we're gonna look around here say hi to all the tortoises before we start digging up their little nest right here so we're just gonna see if anyone's under here hello what what are you doing so these guys have already been misted today already have been fed and already have been given fresh water for the day but you can see none of the tortoises are out because of how hot it is down here in south florida so i am assuming that they're all in this hut right here so let's go say hello to all of them but this is the area that we are going to be looking in because they like to lay their nest right here so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to throw this wood piece on over and Pick this on up. Hello. Hello, everybody. Are you taking shelter from the burning hot sun? I know, it's really hot out here, guys. So we've got their hut moved. Now, I also got a glove on here because we're actually going to be digging in the dirt and soft areas. But we got to get these guys out of here. So we're just going to come on down and make our way a little over there, little buddy. I'll put him here. Move you over here. Guys, we, we got to check if we got babies in there. They can't be hatching out. Okay, all right. Now that we got all these guys moved over here, it is time to get to digging. So guys, we are going to be looking for any soft spots. So that's why I got these gloves on because I really don't feel like getting dirt all under my nails. So what we're gonna do right here is we're just gonna start feeling around. And buddy, 
I I'm trying to I'm trying to look for the babies. Guys, they're they're attacking me. Help! It's attack of the tortoises. So what we're gonna be looking for is soft areas. So if you guys hear this right here, you can see that is very solid and we can't dig there. But if we try to look around in this area, yeah, guys, do you see this? Look how this is just like concaving in and we can just keep on digging and digging without a problem. So let's see if there's anything in here because this might be an empty nest or a nest full of babies. So we need to make sure that we don't dig my nails too much into this because we don't want to crack any eggs. But you can see it really ends right there. You can see that's rock solid. So we're going to go ahead and cover that up for any female that may want to use that for a future nest. But we're going to continue in this area right here. All right. Okay, let's see. Is this one right here? Guys, I think we found another one right here. Yeah, this is for sure a vacant nest or a nest that may have babies in it. But what the heck? That is literally just full of straw, but it keeps on going deeper and deeper, guys. So I'm not sure if there's any nest right here, but you can see there's a lot of hay right here. So the mom could have compacted this nest down and the eggs could be way deep down there. So we're just going to keep on digging in this area. And oh, guys, do you see that? Oh my gosh that's an egg but that's definitely not a solid egg with a baby in it because you can see that it's completely cracked open and guys look at this it is the remnants of a tortoise egg right here i mean it is literally shattered in pieces i mean i don't know if the mom might have broken the egg while laying them or while the baby was coming out that it could have cracked open or this was maybe leftover shell and there could be a baby somewhere in here but guys do you see that in there there's like so many little bugs in here. I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but they're crawling around everywhere. So we're just going to keep on digging to see if this is a possible nest. And oh, do you see that, guys? That piece literally just came up along with all of those little broken pieces. But guys, this just keeps going deeper and deeper. But I don't see any sign of eggs. But guys, oh my goodness, this for sure was a vacant nest. But guys, since there's nothing here, we've hit rock bottom. What we're going to do is we're just going to cover this area back up for any future moms that want to make future nests. And since this is really the only area that these tortoises lay the eggs right here, we're just going to head to the next enclosure. So we're making our way to the second enclosure right here. We're just going to step on in. You can see Duke and Coda are here for moral support. Buddies, what, what are you doing? You big old boy? Get up out of here. All right, so the first area we're gonna look in, or basically the only area we're gonna look in, is under this hut right here because this is where they lay their babies. So we're gonna have to do the same thing. We're gonna have to remove the hut, remove the wood pieces. So guys, once we do that, I'll be right back with you to find some babies. So guys, you can obviously tell that these tortoises in here are a lot bigger than those in the other enclosure. So you can see this guy is racing over to just take a chunk out of my leg. And he can actually reach my ankles, unlike those. So I brought a nice snack for these little guys right here. You want, you want that little carrot? You want it? Oh yeah, that's so yummy, guys. Attack of the tortoises again. They are all coming and sprinting over because we have some yummy, yummy carrots right here. Here you go, guys. It's everyone, it's for everyone. It can go all around here. So we're just we're just gonna leave that right there, guys. You munch on those carrots, we're just gonna take you, buddy, right here because you gotta, you gotta be with them to munch on those carrots. So we've got the hot move right here, but you guys can see it is really, really muddy under here. So we are gonna be going in and getting our hands really, really dirty this time. So we're just gonna start in this area right here. But literally this whole area is full of rocks. So I'm not sure if we're gonna even find a nest because guys, look at this. This is literal paste. So we're just gonna do some digging, but I'm not sure how much luck we're gonna have because guys, literally I have like a handful of rocks. Like I don't think there's any nests over there. But let's see if that's anything. No, that's nothing. All right, we're gonna come in this area right here, guys. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. The tortoises are heading back this way. There seems to be no nest in the surrounding area. I mean, guys, it's literal like mud in there. So what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna put their hut back and head to the red foot enclosure. So guys, we are at the last and final enclosure right here. Now this is the red foot enclosure and guys, this is no small enclosure at all. We have a lot of air to scope out. So we're just gonna go on ahead, step in and you can see everything is overgrown. So if by any chance Jacob missed a baby, it hatched out, we have to go dig digging guys. Look how deep that is. I mean, this is my leg next to it and it literally reaches like halfway up my thigh and that is surrounding the entire enclosure right here. So we have our work cut out for us. So we're just gonna first head over to the hut where all of these moms like to make their nests and lay their eggs in here. And you can see they're all coming out and saying hi. We have like literally a stampede of tortoises falling behind us. So we're just gonna make our way in here. 
to see what we can find. And there's absolutely no way I'm going in here, guys, because there is poop. I mean, look at that. There's a fresh, fresh poop right there. And there's absolutely no way I'm getting in there because it's really, really dirty. I think the top comes off for my relative check for little babies. But guys, look what we spotted off the bat. So right here, guys, do you see that? We see the remnants of a tortoise egg right here. And oh my gosh, guys, look at that. We have the remnants of a tortoise shell right here. Look at this. <gasps> you can see it's really, really dried out. And I don't know if Jacob missed this egg or if maybe the mom crushed it while she was laying them. So who knows? But <gasps> oh my gosh. Guys, are you seeing this? I literally almost looked past this little guy because this one's coming up to me. But look at that, guys. <gasps> no way this is happening right now. Get away, get away. You can't, you can't harm this little guy. <gasps> guys, look at this. Look at this little baby right here. This baby is literally filthy, covered in dirt, and definitely must have been hatched. But you can see he doesn't have any yolk sac right here. So he must have been in here for a couple days. You can see the whole fam is coming over to see their new little baby. Is, is this your little baby? Is, is this your little baby that you hatch? I, I don't think so. This, this is not a snack, guys. Now, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but if you see some, like, white remnants on this baby, that is definitely the yolk that has dried up on this little baby right here. So I don't even know how long this baby's been in here. I mean, look, he's so shy. He doesn't even want to get his little head out. But if you look, you see that white little dot right there? That is is his egg tooth right here. So that's how we can tell he's freshly hatched because they actually use that egg tooth right there because it's very, very sharp and they actually break out of their shell by just using that little egg tooth right there. And you know, once they get a little bit older, it will fade away and they won't always have that egg tooth. But oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe we found this little baby in here. I mean, this happens very rarely, but it does happen because, you know, there are so many tortoises in here. It is very, very difficult to get every single egg out, but oh my gosh, guys, I wonder if there's any more babies now guys just to be sure since we found one baby there could be another so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna scope this entire enclosure right here and you can see we have a lot of space to cover all of this area i mean look at this guys there's tortoises here in this corner digging their way out i mean guys you can't escape you you gotta stay in here we have tortoises over here and look oh my gosh guys look this little guy blends in so well. My foot was literally right here and I could have possibly stepped on this little baby. So we need to be extra careful because if we could barely see this big old guy right here, imagine trying to spot a baby this little. So we've checked that entire area over here. Now the main area that I wanna focus on and I might have to get down in that mud right there is this area right here because when it pours down here in South Florida, this fills up with water. I mean, look at this giant tortoise right here. He's literally completely submerged right here. And don't worry, he's not stuck. He is perfectly fine. He actually put himself in that position and he's just hanging out. Do, do you like that little bath, buddy? Oh my goodness, big yawn for the little tortoise boy right here. So I'm not thinking there's gonna be any babies in there, but I do wanna check in the surrounding area because if this little baby fell into that mud pit right there, I mean, you can see this guy is completely submerged. His head is like barely out of the water, but Imagine this little baby falling in there. This little guy really wouldn't stand a chance. So we need to do some serious investigating because we don't want to lose a little baby tortoise like this. I mean, look how cute this little buddy is. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to start in this area right here. And we're just going to start moving everything over. Now, I'm not applying any pressure. I'm just moving, you know, to see if there's any babies here. But we're going to walk along this little path right here. So we make sure we don't step on any little baby. An eternity later. Guys, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe it. So as I was searching in this area, we checked that entire area over here. Look at this. You don't even see it because look how itty bitty this baby is. We have been searching and searching for about an hour and a half and we finally found another little baby. Look at this little guy right here. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. You can see he's covered in all of that egg remnants right here. I mean, let's see, is it gonna come off? Look at that, guys. You can see all of the egg yolk has hardened onto his shell and you can see it's caused like a white film. And guys, you can see he is really filthy. I mean, look at my fingers. This guy has been in here for quite some time because he doesn't even have a yolk sac either. So I'm wondering if he's from the same group as the other little baby that we found. But guys, that is going to end today's video of this baby tortoise hunt. Now guys, if you enjoyed today's video, finding these little babies left behind, we'll give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, what I want you to do right now is stop what you're doing and comment down below two names for these little baby tortoises. Now guys, if you wanna see more crazy animal adventures like this, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.